Sanrio has many, and I mean many shows and episodes they made over the years, but few have actually stuck out to me more than the show known as Hello Kitty and Friends, the old one, and episode 12, Mom Loves Me After All. Many people regard this episode as the best and saddest episode, and for good reason. And I too also believe that. In fact, I think it is one of, if not the best episodes Sanrio has made featuring Hello Kitty. The episode starts off with Kitty and Mimi coming home and coming across baby Juliana, the baby that Mary is taking care of for the time being while the family of the baby is away. At first, they're pretty excited to have the baby around, but soon the attention and care they come to expect from their parents just isn't really there all too much anymore. Seeing the treatment their mother gives to the baby gets them jealous as she used to do that for them, but ever since the baby came along, things have been a bit different for them. The baths she used to give them now have to be pushed aside for the baby. Their mother no longer has the time to serve them, making them serve themselves. Their mother also doesn't have the time to read them bedtime stories anymore. The lunch she packs for them is basically something from the Great Depression. True, though, what actually is this? What is that? Alcohol? Even the kids are confused and soon they run off from them, leaving them alone with whatever this is. And one night when Kitty can't fall asleep, she asks her mother to read her a bedtime story, but as I said before, she just doesn't have the time anymore, and this upsets Kitty, so she walks off to her room and thoughts in her head she start to creep up. <laughs> These might sound like small things, but to a child they may seem like something much more, and not to mention, this is all happening at once. It may be a lot for them to take in, especially Kitty during the end of the episode. The next day when Kitty wakes up, she goes to check on the baby, but ends up startling it, causing it to cry. This one mistake dampens her mood, causing her to forget her umbrella. Either that or she just doesn't care in the moment. Throughout the day, this mistake lingers in her head, and when she's in class, it's all she could think about. Even when she's called, her only response is to apologize about the baby, confusing the whole class by doing I so. Once school is over, Kitty, Tracy, Thomas, and Fifi all have to clean up the class, and once they're done cleaning, it begins to rain. When Mimi returns home, Mary is concerned about Kitty's whereabouts and questions if Kitty brought her umbrella to school or not, but Mimi responds saying that she did remind Kitty to take it before going to school, which makes her believe that she did bring Good. it, when in reality, she didn't. Going back to Kitty, her and the others are waiting for their parents to pick them up, and one by one, each of them gets picked up. When it's just Kitty and Fifi left, they have this conversation relating to Kitty and her life back at home. I hope my mom comes soon. Oh, me too, but I'm not sure she will. She's really busy these days. She might have forgotten about me. Not on purpose, but she doesn't pay as much attention to me as she used to. <gasps> my little brother just turned two, and he's walking and getting into everything. We have a little baby at our house, too. My mom is babysitting her for the Scott family. That must be neat. Huh? Yoo-hoo! Hi, Fifi. Sorry I'm so late. Hi, Mom! Once Fifi's mother picks her up, Kitty is left alone with her thoughts and begins to wonder if her mother is even going to pick her up until reality sets in that her mother isn't going to show up. This causes Kitty's emotions to spiral with thoughts of what if her mother doesn't love her anymore and what if she doesn't want her anymore. She didn't. She didn't come. She just left me here with all this rain. She doesn't love me. <laughs> I won't go home then. She doesn't want me anymore. Meanwhile, back at home, Mimi and Mary are having dinner when Mary grows concerned about Kitty and ask Mimi if she's sure Kitty didn't forget her umbrella, which makes Mimi go check if her umbrella's still there or not. Soon, they come to the realization that SHE DID FORGET IT! Going back to Kitty, we see her stopped by a train, which makes her envy the people on the train as they get to go away, which gives her an idea. I'm going to take the train to Grandma's house. I should have enough money with me. There's a train leaving right away, too. I like taking this big train, Mommy. That's good. It's not too fast for you. No, I like it as no. me. Once she boards a train, she begins to reminisce when she was with her parents and the first time she was on a train. And the sight of seeing a child with their parent makes her wish she still had that. He's so lucky.
Once Kitty makes it to her grandparents' house, her grandparents are surprised and confused on why Kitty is here alone, so she asks Kitty what made her come all this way by herself, which Kitty responds with, Mommy doesn't love me anymore. Oh, no. Let's make a phone call. After making a phone call to Kitty's parents, her grandparents try to comfort her and asks what's wrong. Back at Kitty's house, her parents are blaming themselves for not realizing how Kitty and Mimi were feeling. As they were too focused on the baby to give any attention to their children and discuss how Kitty thinks they don't love her anymore. To cheer Kitty up, her grandparents showed her pictures of when she was a baby and told stories of how her parents first met and how her mother used to be a concert pianist. Pianist? Pianist. 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 Pianist? Yeah. Anyways, in her younger years. In the story of how her mother met her father, we see her father standing around waiting for the rain to settle. Until Mary comes out and begins looking for a taxi due to the rain. Meanwhile, Kitty watches somehow. I don't know, I guess she just self-inserted into their story. But either way, she tries to cheer her father on to go talk to her. So she gives her an umbrella that just magically gets summoned into her arms. Ugh. Talk to her before she gets a ride! Huh? Huh? Once she realizes that her father won't make a move, she pushes him into the direction of her mother so they could talk. Uh, uh, um, uh, 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 hello there! Would you care to use my umbrella? Then you could walk home. But won't you be needing it? Oh no, I have plenty of other good umbrellas just sitting at home. Which she completely fumbles the bag in front of Kitty. But Mary makes a deal with Kitty's father. When they meet again, she'll give him back the umbrella, which she agrees to. Once the rain clears up, Kitty thanks her grandparents for everything and soon her family arrives. Kitty apologizes for making them worry so much about her disappearance, but they're just glad she's okay and told her that Juliana's parents picked her up and that they could visit at any time. It's a little water, right daddy? After all, if it weren't for rain, I wouldn't be here! I love the rain, rain loves me! Oh, what song is that, dear? It's the song I made up, the same day that I talked to you for the first time. <laughs> the song and dance that she's doing isn't just any song and dance, but rather it's the song and dance her father did on that fateful day that for whatever reason the English version removed sadly. Mom Loves Me After All is my favorite episode Sanrio has made featuring Hello Kitty, and it's the rare time they ever dive into emotional topics like fear of child neglect. Child neglect is pretty scary on its own, as children don't know how to do things on their own yet, nor what's going on. And as they get older, they may grow distrust for people, and they may get issues such as trust issues and or abandonment issues, which may last with them for a long long time unless properly taken care of with, with a psychologist and or therapist so they can heal from the trauma. Even then, trauma has a chance to always be with a person even if they do come to terms with it, as they may have relapses from time to time. This is known as PTSD or Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. Hello Kitty and Friends episode 12, Mom Loves Me After All, somewhat dives into the topic of child neglect, as Kitty experiences some form of neglect on her parents as they forget to pay any attention to her once the baby comes along, which sends Kitty into an emotional spiral causing her to run away from her parents and grows jealous of other kids with happy families. With the help of her grandparents, she realizes that they do truly love her, but they just got lost in their own desires. I hope you all enjoyed the video as I love Sanrio, and Mom Loves Me After All is one of my favorite episodes from any Sanrio series. And it kind of means something to me, as for a time I used to fear the idea of child neglect, but besides that, I hope you all have a good rest of your day and or night, and I'll see you whenever I decide to upload again. Bye-byes!